system basically where people log into the system, they get their dashboard, and they have multiple drones in their fleet. You can choose whatever drones you want. What you're seeing here is mission planning. Mission planning is very easy. You basically, in this case, draw a polygon. What you're seeing is the system is calculating on an ongoing basis what the individual drones do. Two drones, three drones, four drones. This is looking at coal stockpiles, and you can again see how the system reconfigures flight patterns for multiple aircraft working in the same time. Um, road construction. Now this is a different structure for bridges or for towers. Again, not all missions are the same. You don't want to look from the top, you actually want to do orbital missions around towers. And these are two drones scanning a tower. In the field, what you'll see is a person using a mobile device. A mobile device is used to link and launch the mission. Uh, the drones go up, they start collecting their individual data tasks. That information gets collected. Uh, you can monitor the mission progress. And in the end of the day, some of the things you can generate are three-dimensional models like this quarry, uh, or an uh, industrial park that was constructed, or you can uh, do two-dimensional measurement on a new construction site where you can measure distances, areas, volumes, and so on. And another interesting thing you can do is change detection. So look at a site and see how it changed over time. This is a very common use where people want to know uh, how a project is developing over time. Um, and you can see movement of Earth, uh, progress of a project, and so on. <coughs> I'll let that finish in a second. <coughs> 